Yo, what is going on, Comfy Gang? It's your boy, Comfy Need. And um, I guess today I wanted to, you know, make this video kind of as an explanation, maybe as an apology. And um, I don't know. I guess I'll kind of think, tell what, uh, I'll kind of talk about what made me want to make this video in the first place. So, um, in my MMA classes, I kind of feel like I'm a little bit awkward, uh, you know, like I try and make small talk, but I always feel like it's just not something there. And even when, you know, talking to people on, you know, like anybody, basically, I feel like um, I'm just yeah, I kind of want to just apologize to people who have ever talked to me. Um, you know, maybe even some of you guys on Discord. Um, I feel I feel sort of bad because um, I feel like I'm I sort of give off this. I don't know. Maybe I give off the impression that I'm capable of talking to people because I maybe sound somewhat eloquent i can project my voice and everything when i talk to a camera for example but um the truth of the matter is uh i really i really can't talk to people in real life like i can talk to people over text i guess because for some reason it's like it feels a lot safer. I used to be anxious about that, but I feel like I've gotten a lot better at it. But when it comes to talking to people like voice to voice, especially face to face, but even just voice to voice, I feel like I just can't do it. Um, well, I can, but it's like, I feel like maybe I don't, I give off the impression that like, I just want to say that if I ever give off the impression that I somehow don't like you or that I'm pissed at you maybe, or that I'm just not interested in you. I just, please, I just want to promise you that that's like most likely not the case. Like I do want to be social. I do want to talk to people, but um, it's like I even suffer this like with my fucking family. Like I, I, I want to talk to them. I really do. But um, it's just, I don't know what's wrong with me. It's like, it's like when I'm talking to people, especially when there's more than one person, like if it's a one-to-one -one thing, I can have a conversation through voice. But when, when there's like multiple people, it's just like my brain, my brain shuts down. Like it just slows to a crawl and it's like, I can listen, I can listen, I can listen to what's going on in the conversation. It's not like I've checked out or anything, like I'm fucking daydreaming or doing anything, but, um, it's like the words just won't come out. It's like, I'm frozen and I feel it's like, when I pay attention to like my posture, it's like I instinctively, when I'm talking to people, I instinctively, I, I, fuck, I instinctively, um, you know, like cross my legs and then sort of slouch over and bend into them. Like, I don't know how to show this, like, like this, <laughs> as dumb as that sounds. And, uh, it's just like an instinctual thing. It's like I'm bracing, like the body language is suggesting that like I'm bracing for whatever like conflict, like I'm about to be attacked by a dangerous animal. And I don't know. And I don't even notice this consciously unless I actually like pay attention to it or until like the conversation is over. And then I realize like, why the fuck am I slouched over so far? And, um, you know, it sucks not to, to want to, it's like to want to contribute to the conversation. And sometimes it's even like, I don't, sometimes it's not even that I can't think of anything, but it's that I think, I think, uh, 
I think of something that I want to say, but then I spend, I, instead of just saying it, it's like I have, I have this compulsive need to wait for the right moment or like when there's like a gap in the conversation to say it and then I'd keep waiting and then it gets to the point where, you know, you know how there's like a certain threshold when a topic is mentioned and then if you don't bring up what you want to say within a certain period of time between then and when the topic was mentioned, it just becomes out of context. And, you know, I say, oh, it's just a dumb social rule that you're making up in your head. Like maybe, but I feel like it definitely is a thing where like, it's like you have to say what you want to say right then and there. And I just can't bring myself to do that. And uh, yeah, it's this fucking probably pathetic video of me whining and bitching and not making any sense, not, I don't know. I mean, obviously my goal is to improve as a person, but I mean, this is just part of the channel, I guess, talking about my shortcomings as a person. Um, uh, but, but that's besides the point. Um, aside from that, um, yeah, it's that. Also, I just have, you know, there's like this key difference between me when I'm under the influence of alcohol versus when I'm just my sober self. Because when I'm under the influence of alcohol, it's just like, I say the first thing that comes to my mind and it's just right, you know, it just makes sense and it just fits the conversation and everything. And, um, you know, sometimes I do this when I'm sober, but for the most part, it's like, I'm always constantly looking for the right thing to say. And it's, this is pretty fucked up because it's like, it's almost like I'm trying to manipulate people because I'm trying to get, I'm trying to look for something to say that will get people to like me. And it's like, I know on a conscious level that this is wrong, but I can't stop myself from doing it. And I know this is just me being a slave to my ego and to the part of my brain that is afraid of being judged or whatever, the part of the brain that I should be doing my best to ignore. But that's just how I fucking am, you know? I don't know if it's like my social anxiety, but sometimes I feel like it's even more than social anxiety because it's like what I was mentioning earlier, like if there's too many people talking, it's like, it's almost like my brain just shuts down and like, I can't even bring myself to say anything. Or when I try to say, when I force myself to say something, when I don't, when I don't have that feeling of saying something, or when I have that frozen feeling, I end up stuttering or I end up speaking too fast and sounding nervous, or I just don't fuck, you know, like just doesn't come out right. And then I say something that's completely off topic or that somehow I convinced myself was somehow relatable, relate, related to what we were talking about. And, um, it just doesn't make any fucking sense or just, I, I don't know, like, I just have this ability to say something and then it's like, it just is really awkward and it is out of context. I don't know if maybe anyone can tell me if this is all in my head or not, who's talked to me, but I think this is definitely true. And I have this ability to say things that are just so like, not even so I come slightly out of context or slightly off somehow. And I do this with everybody, with my family, with people I meet, with friends, friends of friends. And then they just, I guess it creates a lot of tension because it's so weird. And then you have to try and like, I guess, you know, direct the conversation somewhere else. And, you know, am I, am I even supposed to be talking about this? Like the social rules or whatever, isn't that like forbidden or something like pretty taboo to talk about, like how conversations work and 
I don't know, maybe this is just all in my head, but I really think there are rules to conversations. And then if you don't follow them, then, you know, people act a certain way or just makes everybody uncomfortable. And oh, man, like, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I just can't talk to people in real life. Um, every, it's like, I feel, yeah, like I mentioned earlier, like I make, I make people feel bad when I talk, or at least I, I know I definitely do for some people. I'm not, probably it's like 50% of the time I actually do make people feel awkward. And the other 50% of my time, I probably seem normal or normal-ish, but I'm making it out to be way worse than it is in my head. But I feel like I definitely do make people uncomfortable sometimes. And um, it's also like a lot of the time I feel that some people try to get to know me and then, you know, maybe they try and do like a little joke here and there. And it's like, I know it's just a joke and I, but I can't think of anything witty to say because I'm just so locked up and I'm like a prisoner of my own mind, of my own body or whatever, whatever it is that's causing me to like basically have, you know, the social equivalent of a seizure where I just can't talk, you know, I can't say, um, you know, I can't say anything witty to liven the mood or whatever. Not that I have to, I guess, but I mean, it's ideal. And I don't know, maybe I'm just overthinking things. Maybe this is just the way I am, but I don't think it is because at least I'd like to believe that there's this possibility that I can do all these things that I want to do because when I'm, I keep saying this when I'm drunk, I, I socialize the way I wish I socialized when I was sober and it just makes me, yeah. I, I always wish I could be like that, but maybe I should just accept that this is just the way I am, that I, I'm inherently awkward. Uh, I don't know, but this certainly doesn't feel good to, to be this way, I guess. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah, I wish I could talk the way I do when I'm drunk to people. I wish I could just, you know, make friends. I wish I could, you know, make friends, deepen connections get to know people, you know, make people feel good when I talk to them. But the thing is that I can't because of my social anxiety, I guess maybe like my lack of social skills, especially when it comes to talking to people face to face and all these other things. And how am I supposed to practice this stuff? Um, yeah, but like I was saying earlier, if I ever gave you the impression that I hate you or that I'm you know, maybe pissed off or something. Um, like, I really promise you that that's not the case. Um, I'm just inherently really awkward. And I feel like a lot of people that I'm okay with, or even, I guess, you know, want to get to know, like, they try and, you know, maybe extend a hand, um, metaphorically speaking, and I just am not able to grab onto it or reciprocate because I'm so socially fucked that I can't talk to people in real life. Anyways, it's just another, you know, depressing video uh, talking about my flaws as a person. Uh, this is, uh, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button below. If you enjoyed this content and this is Comfy Neat signing out.